Hello artist welcome to an artist for an artist podcast this is your host marshall 69 doodler and today's guest is the famous rapper nihu nihu art so he recently took a break from art and he is now focusing on his rap career welcome nihu to the podcast uh, yeah yeah thanks bro how are you doing i'm doing great how are you yeah i'm fine as well so all right tell us about yourself me my name my original name is nihal mane but you know my stage name is lil nihu so lil, lil is nihu. basically basically is type uh, hip hop it's a generation you heard the mm-hmm. rapper lil pump lil wayne lil peep etc so it's a generation of a uh, new school wave so that's what uh, my name is inspired from and my music is inspired from so nihu where are you based where do you live bro so i live in mumbai maharashtra and i live in malad area uh, so basically i represent my area by doing rap and doing you know and how did you started rap you know uh, i started rap bro when i was like 5 my big brother have have the songs of lil wayne in his pen drive and i used to listen that but i don't know i don't know i didn't know at that time that this was a rap but i i'm listening and i'm enjoying it enjoying it and then i heard of like you know amiv banta divine mm-hmm. the indian rappers and i used to listen them and then i remembered that this is a hip hop and you know all this stuff uh, so i started writing on when i was in standard 4 but you know didn't take it seriously that just to impress four or five people you know we are in fourth yeah, standard yeah. what are your future plans can you discuss here yeah uh, my future plan bro like i'm going to drop some of songs like uh, yeah if 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 a song doesn't get fame but i'm going to try till my last you know i'm not going to give up but if 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 suddenly i was sub- success then i'm not, look i'm just you know i'm economically strong i have knowledge like how to invest and all that stuff so you gonna be rich and i'm not i'm not like a greedy to money but that's what that is a reality bro that shit people don't understand this shit yeah if you got bucks in your reality. hand if you got yeah. some decent bucks in your hand your content will be good yeah. but for that yeah, you, you gotta start from scratch yeah that's what uh, start from small let's start the main thing is to start bro hmm If I remember you wrote a song. Yeah, I've I've written many songs in my you know notepad. I have many songs, but yeah, I'm gonna record it soon and then upload or release it uh, simultaneously. Like, I think we should it. make a song together. I am like fluent in English raps, and your Hindi rap is like so, in the level of like we can say MC Stan. Yeah, but I do not. I'm not comparing him. He is a legend. Yeah, we are just beginners yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. They no no question of comparison with them, bro. Like, and main thing is why to compare? Why to compare? Just you know, so, I don't I don't make Hindi raps, bro. Right now, like I make English. You same, hate? same, bro. Same. Yeah, that's I cool. I made a song. I even sent to you if I remember. Which? I sent to you. Wait, let me give you. Let me send. Oh that. yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, the Alison. I think you have collabed with the uh, artist. Yeah, he's not like an yeah. artist boy. He's a nigga from school. Yeah, that's why. If he writes, he's an artist, bro. It's very stupid rap. It was like a commission. He came to me. You edit a song, put your artworks in the video, and release it. I'm like, okay, good. That's how shit work. Because rap is like I had not, and thanks to him, I had no courage to upload song. And even in my, I made a folder. In which I have thirty rap songs I made, oh, cool. but That's I have cool, no courage bro. to release it. Should I drop? It's Should I? It's not that from? good, but I'm trying yeah, my best. Yeah, that's good, bro. The bars have power, bro. Nah, man, nah. I'm just a kid. No, Wanna bro, do some don't, shit. Don't demotivate yourself. You gonna grow one time, you know. I am like new to like I am more like we can say comfortable with art currently. Like yeah, that, art yeah, and I, podcast, I'm comfortable with it. But rap is yeah, not my in my comfort zone. I can understand. I think I got a grind hard for that. We'll do it after I can say in 2023 maybe. Yeah, for sure, bro. But currently I only do art stuff and just started this podcast. Recorded yeah. five episodes. 
to choose the six to one. Gotta do, gotta do. All right, bro. Like, I wish you grow very well. You know. From now on, I think. Uh, and sorry to make you sad. I don't need any controversies or want to make anyone feel hurt. But I am just taking podcasts with artists, not rappers. Sorry to say, right, but Ibu is an artist. I know him from ages. We are good friends. That's why. But unfortunately, he will quit art. Is uh, it true, Ibu? Like, yeah. No, like if if I was in like you know mood like not like mood like kind of I that, wish. That I vibe. That box vibe. I can say. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, know vibe. it. Yeah. I will just I will just draw and post, and it's not hard thing to me. I can do it right now also. But you know, there's some. Okay. Yeah, I can get. I get it. I get it. Yeah. That wipe shit. I get it. Yeah, that's all. Like, bro. if you will stick to one shit, you need a break. Have a good break. Yeah. Come back. Do whatever you do. Everyone will support it if your content is good, bro. What are yeah. your tools to you used to draw? I used to draw doodle stuff and character inspired by Gox art and doodles inspired by Vex. So that's all. So. What was the reason to stop doodle art? I didn't stop, bro. Because uh, you know, I I do rap, but in hip hop, we contain the category of graffiti art. You know. Yeah. Graffiti. Maybe doodle is also, doodle is also a little bit part of hip hop. You know. It was a part of hip hop, but now after like we can say after COVID, people are using it. We are getting a change, but now people use a doodle like in way of like that shit. What we say, aesthetic shit. This is me off because it's not what we make. It is not what it is. Yeah. The doodle is meant to be just a flow. Just do it as it is. But now yeah, we can say what... it's becoming like crowded community. Basically, it was better in 2019. I hate to see it now. Yeah. And when did I you start it? Bro. In which year? A doodle art or just a art? Uh, I can say just the art. I started art from like five years. You know, we everyone draw like, like as a kid. And when but did I you was, start you know, to doodle art? I started doodle art, bro, in 2019. Yeah, 2019. By by seeing like a couple of Gox videos and before Gox, I used to watch Vex videos. Vex, uh, you know, Vex doing wall paintings. Yeah, yeah. That he is stuff. now basically into NFTs now. He earned a lot basically. Yeah. His NFT uh, portfolio is good. Yeah, he's just trying to get bucks, bro. No offense, it is what it is. Yeah. But there's a change, of course, in uh-huh. this community. And what uh, NFT? NFT yeah, so NFT is that. NFT is also uh, good for an artist, bro. We can earn through it, like you know. Yeah, I also can sold one. It. Which? It is now a bit not not available in OpenSea or anywhere. It was like we can say what we say. It was a different shit. It was based on uh, we can yeah. say wallet shit. It yeah, was like yeah. a I, commission. Yeah. yeah, you got it. Yeah, I got you. And we can say you are a great rapper now. Yeah, not great, bro. Like, you know, people doesn't know anyone. No one knows me, so yeah, I'm just not a rapper, that bro. shit. But still, you got the shit you made. Not I can. Yeah, yeah. I can't say shit. Basically, you. Yeah, I know. The audience of Doodle Art, and now you. Like you made it to rap scene now, they are also listening yeah. to your songs, and you work hard. Yeah. Make the rhythm right; it will be banger. What are the difficulties of being an artist and young age? Does your parents know you make rap songs? Yeah, bro, my parents know, but you know they are not supporting me. Like, like you go and just rap, you know, because Indian people doesn't know. Indian people think it's just a thing of. The uh, people who have wasted their life and you know, like chakris. I got it. I got know? it. It's yeah. too. Yes, they... but, but we can say if you wanna be a rapper, don't like that. I don't wanna. 
I don't want to disrespect anyone. It is what it is. But as per my point of view, you shouldn't be like that. Uh, we can say those rappers which are like just roaming around and make songs which uh, yeah. you know, vul vulgar slangs, make religious jokes, disrespect gods, disrespect communities. Yeah. We should be like yeah. Krishna, Krishna and anyway. Krishna is yeah, like yeah. damn good. You know, uh, you wanna reality and there is. Yeah, got it, got it. It's not that scene basically. Anyone can make rap songs, but to gain audience, yeah. you gotta do some shit. That's that's not yeah. wrong in it. Even if I go to like, at that time we can say there was a shit like to go to gullies and make songs, but now it's again that shit. For two years it remained like the from scratch scene. But now it's again like the yeah. flex shit. Every rapper you can say is flexing, except like uh, what we can say. Even some records are telling them to do. But the guy who started as the same and is still the same is only Krishna. Yeah, Krishna, he's a, you know, OG rapper. And we can say like he's the OG, you know. He got some lyrics like, yeah, that's so. all. No, bro. Very uh, killer. He can destroy your whole scene in like three lines. Yeah. Marcus oh. destroyed many artists' career. Yeah. You know. He's uh, another Emmy way of Instagram. Emmy, Emmy, yeah, basically. Just, yeah. We just, uh, we just, you know, we just know uh, Indian rappers like Divine, Emmy way, Raftar, Krishna, who is in like mainstream, like kind of mainstream, but you know. There are some rappers who started, who is the OGS, they are still underrated, like, uh, shout that's out that. to, you know, Dharavi United. Yeah, that's the OG shit. Yeah, that, they, they are the main OGs, bro, they got, they are OG thugs, they got respect, bro. What was their name? Dharavi, I can... Dharavi United, and they got, uh, you know, MCL Duff signed in Gully Gang? Yeah. MCL he he was. He's also a part of Dharavi United. You know, there are so but much it's groups. Now like dead. It's dead now. Huh? Dharavi United not is dead. dead. Yeah, I know, but you know, they are not getting scope, bro. People are just, uh, people are just, you know, showing love to the mainstream rappers. They are not, yeah, yeah, yeah. not making growth of the underrated rappers. Dharavi United was a big shit in like four or five years ago. It blew yeah. away on SoundCloud. And after that, India also got the trend of SoundCloud rappers. He got it. Yeah. And uh, rap scene is changing now. It's better than before. Yeah. You know, if but, you listen uh, to some... But lyrically, I can say Krishna is the best. Yeah, Krishna is the best, bro. You know, like, but you can't, like, you know, we didn't know many rappers. You were underground. You uh, should you remain underground. I don't mean yeah. good rappers, but you know, there are some kids who are wanna be rappers. What I can say I, now? And like, good good news, Nazi is back. Yeah, Nazi, yeah, he got he dropped, but yeah, he dropped, bro. He was also OG, you know? He is OG, man. He posted Divine, he and, Divine and Nazi make the street rapping, you know, famous. So this was our podcast with New Heart. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.